Hey guys, so today I'm sitting down to talk to you a little bit more about One Snowy Week in Spring Hollow. Um, that is my book that is coming out on November 5th with Aria Fiction and you can pre-order it now over on Amazon. Um, it makes me so happy talking about this book and I get so giddy thinking about the story of how this book came about, so I thought I would sit down and share that with you today. So, get ready, maybe grab a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, but back in 2013, I um, wasn't able to come home for Christmas. I was living in America at the time and due to visas, American citizenship, all this stuff, I didn't get to come home for Christmas and I was devastated. It was the first Christmas I would be without my family and I was struggling, I was very, very sad and I didn't know how I was gonna get through it, but we did. And one of the reasons was because of the amazing Christmas present and surprise that my sisters Kelly and Jen um, did for me, which was to send me to New York to see First Date on Broadway. Now, for those of you who don't know, which by this point in all our time on social media, I don't know how you could not possibly know, but Kelly and I and my sister Jen are huge, huge fans of Zachary Levi. We absolutely adore him. And Zachary Levi was starring in First Date on Broadway. So it was um, an absolute dream come true and the best surprise, I freaked out. Um, and the play itself was absolutely amazing, absolutely incredible. Um, getting to see Zach live performing wise, he's just, oh, he's just brilliant. So anyway, afterwards, Zach came out and met everybody, he was signing autographs and taking pictures with everybody. And I got to go up and say hi to him and um, chat to him a little bit. And he was the sweetest person. He is honestly just a beautiful, beautiful human being. And um, I, I get so giddy thinking about it, even all these years later, it's like, it was such a, magical moment for me that I always, when I'm ever I'm retelling the story, or whenever I think about the story, I always call it my fairy tale of New York. Um, because they say don't meet your heroes, but honest to God, when it comes to Zachary Levi, I, I don't have the words. He is just beautiful, like inside and out. He's just, yes, he's just incredible. So after meeting Zach, um, I had the little bit of this inspiration. And I remember shortly afterwards, Kelly and I were sat in a coffee shop in London and we were talking about stories and I think I must have had the idea for how to bake a new beginning at the time kind of ruminating in my head so I was kind of saying to Kelly hey why don't you write this story th this idea about a journalist she gets to meet a favorite actor it's kind of like this romance so we were throwing ideas around and I think Kelly had started writing something and then I don't know how many months what year it was that I started I, I just kind of thought to myself hey I'm gonna see what I can come up with I'll write something so I think I wrote maybe two or three chapters and then that was a manuscript that I ended up putting in the cupboard and never really looking at again. So fast forward to six, seven years later, um, there was a little superhero movie coming out, April 2019, called Shazam, starring Zachary Levi. And I will say that 2018 was a little bit of a rough year. I was going through a bit of a, an emotional roller coaster, and I was struggling and I'd found myself in a very very down and sort of dark place and 2019 I was in between jobs so I was spending a lot of time with my nana I was getting to spend the days with her chatting to her talking and um, kind of trying to think of like book ideas while I was working on wishes and I think ingredients at the time yeah because they came out in 2019 and um, so I was thinking about a few ideas and I was trying to I was learning a lot about self-love and figuring out who I was, like just going through things like that. And I was struggling quite a lot. Mentally, I was finding it very, very difficult. And so when Shazam was coming out and there was a lot of press and Zach was doing a lot of stories and podcasts and he was sharing a lot, you know, his story, it was incredibly inspirational. And it was like, as Jonathan Van Ness would say, um, finding those pockets of joy and finding those people that you connect with and you know when people just speak and you don't feel so alone and you feel like it just hits you and you're able to sort of relax a little bit and go oh, okay you know have that trust in the universe have that you know belief that everything will be okay everything's happening for a reason and I was having a lot of moments where with my friends and my family where it's kind of like meditating a lot on um you know, what you want from life, what this is teaching you, what these lessons that you're going through, they're important, you know, so sit with them, feel all these emotions and go through everything. And Zach really helped with that. Like, one of the reasons that we were with that was just how happy and how excited and how much joy he radiated talking about Shazam. It was like, it wasn't so much this actor getting this 
job in this big movie and like being like okay you know he's gonna play this part and he was genuinely excited it was the little kid in him it was the adult in him who was like I get to be a superhero like I get to put on this spandex and be a superhero and from somebody who's like dreamed of being a power ranger and dreamed of joining the Avengers it was so freaking cool to see this grown man be say that the kid in him was coming out act so happy and like be excited for the job and like all the promos was just it was just so much fun to watch because it, he was letting himself he you know obviously for anybody who knows Zach and you know fans who watch his panels or anything when he talks and he gets so emotional and he lets people see that and he lets people see him be vulnerable he is just I just that is one of the things I just absolutely adore about him and you know he, he's not afraid to do that he's not afraid to be passionate about things and it's just a beautiful beautiful thing and he was doing that through all these promos so all of a sudden I started getting these ideas and like I started seeing this character that I'd written a while ago but in a different way and I started seeing Devon and Scarlet and seeing them as kids and I started um, having this world in my head and it just made me so giddy to get up in the morning and write and for somebody who had been struggling a lot for months like wanting to get out of bed in the morning and just all that kind of stuff I was like I couldn't wait to get up out of bed I was carrying my notebook everywhere with me again and I started writing and writing and writing and just like chapters would come to me and um, ideas and like scenes would come to me and I was getting so giddy and for anybody who was around when April 2019 when Shazam was coming out me and my sisters it was like Christmas um, and you know, you know when you just get so excited for other people's successes, like we'd followed Zachary, Zachary Levi's career and to see him go from like Chuck and to, from all the stuff he was doing to, and hearing the podcast where he's struggled and he's like, um, had to, you know, his, his thing of, you know, not feeling cool enough to be here yet or not being able to do this yet or the hearing about the rejections and the movie roles and things like that, him on posters was I was so giddy and I was so happy for him. You know when you're just genuinely so super excited to see people living their dream and like other people's dreams coming true. I, me and my sisters were just so unbelievably excited for him. And yeah, it was just a really amazing time. And it was that the, that joy that radiated off Zach that just ended up connecting with us. And we, I, I, I saw that movie four times in cinemas once on my own and I never ever ever in all my life have ever been to the cinema on my own and I did for that movie because I was so excited I just want to be wanted to be wrapped up in that world and that was just an inspirational moment for me where it's like I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go to the cinema on my own um so that's where a lot of the inspiration came from for One Snowy Week in Spring Hollow um and so just the superhero world I've always loved the superhero movies and um Shazam was phenomenal and Shazam 2 is going um, to be filming. I saw that the other day, like with um, mock posters, but the title and stuff has been announced. So, <laughs> um, so anyway, anyway, anyway. So fast forward as well to 2019, the end of 2019, December. Um, me and my sisters are so giddy. Like Nana every morning got the countdown for Comic Con in Wales because I feel like that was the universe. Like I'd been doing a lot of meditating and a lot of reflecting and a lot of learning in the, like 2019. And then the universe was like, Comic Con is going to happen in Wales and Zachary Levi is going to come to Comic Con. So me and my sisters, yep, every morning Nana got the countdown for what day it was for um, one more day on the calendar crossed off for going to meet Zachary Levi. And again, I'm just going to reiterate people that say don't meet your heroes that does not apply with Zachary Levi because oh, I could go on but it I will go on I would ramble Um, it it was one of those things where again seven years later of walking up to him and meeting him he's just somebody that for me is awe-inspiring in the sense that you go up to him and you just immediately get this sense of this aura of just this beautiful person this beautiful human like inside and out and he's somebody that I, like, it hits me when you, you go up to him that it's like, I want to be like this person. Like, the way he makes people feel loved, the way he listens to people, the way he makes you feel seen, makes you feel heard. Uh, just as a human being, it was just one of those, like, moments of being completely motivated and completely inspired by how he is with people and watching him interact with people and how he made me feel, how he made my sisters feel. Um, so it, he's just a beautiful human being. So 
um, I'll let you guess when you read the book who inspired Devon. <laughs> it's like Devon's just this ball of lovableness that I absolutely adore and Scarlett's just this kick-ass, I, I just love her. Um, and I will say too that this book, so through all this, through all this inspiration with comic books and through Zach and through um, everything, One Snowy Week in Spring Hollow is definitely about like embracing who you are and learning to love who you are in a very Christmassy, festive, fun, joyful package. And it was sort of that, that child in me and that teenager and things that you go through, even as a 32 year old, when you have moments of going, you know, you watch Shazam and then you go, I really want to be a superhero. Can I just start wearing spandex? And would people mind if I just started wearing, you know, rocking spandex? And because, and then sometimes you think to yourself, oh gosh, Lucy, you know, you're 32, you've got to start acting responsible, you've got to start acting mature, you probably shouldn't be telling everybody you love One Direction and dance parties for one. And I think so many times we get all these things of what, you know, how we should act, how we should, whether it be how we should act as women, how we should act as men, how we should act at 32 years old. And again, just going back to how Zach was when he, that just joy came out of him when he was um, promoting this movie and seeing him in this movie. And so this book is just really about embracing that, finding that person within you. Um, and sometimes so often as well as kids, we know who we want to be. As kids, we know what we want to do, but then we get so caught up in what society's telling us that that person's get gets buried and, and, and we don't let the world see that person and we're too scared of that. So this book is very much about Scarlett finding herself in that way. And I really hope it connects with people. You know, Scarlett might have a very different dream to you, but I just hope it connects to you on that level, whether it be a small part of you that's always dreamed of doing this, or there's a small part of you that loves this, but you've always been too scared of showing people. I hope it really makes you embrace who you are and love who you are and that we can do it more. Like if you know me and Kelly and uh, social media in real life, like we love to love things. I love to love things. I love to shout from the rooftops about things that make me happy and um, about people who are doing good things and seeing people's successes. And it just makes me so happy. And sometimes you can love things for five minutes. Sometimes you can love things a lifetime. And I just don't be afraid afraid of that don't be ashamed of that and I know sometimes in the current climate it can be very hard but I just want to sit here and I want to say you are incredible you are amazing and we're going to keep fighting for loving what you love loving who you love just loving like love 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 the world needs more of it so I truly truly hope that one snowy week in spring hollow can bring a smile to your face I'm so giddy to share it with you and there's I don't know. I don't know if this is going to come out as well, if I'm going to share it before or after the cover reveal. I've seen the cover, like Devon and Scarlet, the little image of them just melts my heart. Um, I'm so excited to bring it to you. So yes, I hope you enjoy it. You can pre-order it now on Amazon and it's coming out November 5th. And yes, so I'm sending so much love and wrapping you all in a big hug and enjoy have a good day and go spread some love go smile go do something that makes you happy go dance to one direction go watch a superhero movie tell me who your favorite superhero is um go be a superhero to yourself as other people and yes love 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 and nothing but love for me and have a good day and i will talk to you soon